Hello, friends and family of you two. Well, me and little Muppy's got to go to Nashville to make us some money. We're going to sell at the uh, flea market up there at the fairgrounds at the uh, exit 81. If you're ever uh, on I-65 going through uh, Nashville area on the fourth weekend of every month. So anyway, we're going to go up there and sell some junk and uh, we're going to take y'all with us. So here we go. Well, I know I told y'all that Kiki Girl was a, a mad killer, Princess of Darkness. I saw her out here just a few minutes ago fighting a three-foot snake. Well, she's really stepped up her game since then. She got her a fuzzy worm. Would you look at that? Of course, she got a blow. Look at that. She won't quit headbutting me. <laughs> Yep, she got her a fuzzy worm now. Way to go, Kiki girl. I'd much rather her fight worms than fight them snakes. Y'all ever seen anything so cute as this? Look at that. Boy, here it is, about 9 o'clock, and this kid's still laying in the bed. All tucked in and everything. Look at that. <laughs> I have this van jam-packed. I mean, you can see everything goes all the way to the back window. But unfortunately, as I pull on this, nothing happens. So there's a little uh, piece in there that breaks. It's common to break on these things. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the side door open either. The latch had broke on it last time I was here in Nashville. So I had to reach over Muppy and reach from inside behind the seat here and uh, get the latch open from the inside. So, and it's gonna be a struggle getting this thing, uh, get it all unloaded from inside uh, the side door instead of the back, but I got all day, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Even her footprints are left behind her cute. All right, you have two choices. A, you can spend the rest of your life with your wife. Or B, B. Well, I'm not sure how much sleep me and Muppy's gonna get for the next two nights. We, uh, we've got a rap concert right next door to us less than a hundred yards from where uh, we're parked at uh, Nashville at the flea market so uh, hopefully y'all can hear that over there over this recording I know I'm gonna have to hear it for quite a while I don't know how well Muppy sleeps to rap music we've never tried that before well we're gonna go for our nighttime walk Muppy's been uh, she's been anxious to get out and walk around so we're gonna let her walk around see what she can uh, See what antiques we can find out here. I can't understand a lot of the words here, but I think he's saying something about everybody in the club getting tipsy. Well, I can tell I need to do a video on how to properly set up a trailer uh, in a parking situation. I don't know if you can tell by the camera here, the, but the, this trailer is sitting downhill like this. Of course, you can see that they've got uh, chocks behind the wheels. They don't have one on the front side, only two on the back side of the uh, trailer. They do have some uh, stabilizer jacks on the back, but here's what I noticed. They've got three boards right up under the tongue that have it up too high. If they only had two boards right there, this trailer would be sitting level. But again, this trailer is sitting like that. So uh, I see that a lot. And what I can't understand, and that one there is doing the same thing. It's leaning down on the front end. So all day long, these people are walking inside of these trailers. They're going uphill when they go one direction and go downhill the other direction that they walk. People do this all the time. That one there in the corner, that little, uh, it's like a Volkswagen bus. That thing is sitting uh, 
it's sitting the same way. You hardly ever see these trucks or trailers sitting level. Never understood what's up with that, but I guess I need to do a video on it soon. It's uh, probably about 20 minutes before sunset and the flea market's closed, but I wanted to show you all some of the outside boots that are, they're uh, somewhat covered, but got a few things sitting out. I know some of you like to look at antiques and stuff, so I uh, thought I'd share with you what I can see out here. I don't like to go inside the booth that way if anything was to come up missing nobody could nobody could say they saw me in the booth at night so uh anyway we try to stay away outside of them a little bit but uh man that's the beauty of nashville flea market man there is everything here if you want to buy some socks if you want to buy some uh cds cassettes whatever everything here new used old whatever Lots of cool stuff in Nashville. A lot of stuff going on this weekend in Nashville. They got the uh, NFL draft is going on. Uh, got a rap concert right next door to me and Muppy for the next two nights. Uh, there's a big marathon going on here as well. So a uh, little bit of everything. Pretty neat little painting here. But uh, if you've been looking for a lamp, this is where they're all at. If you have never been to Nashville Flea Market, if you like uh, flea markets and that sort of thing, this is definitely one of the better ones to go to in the U.S. Uh, I think it's number seven either in the country or number seven in the world. I'm not sure, but either way, that's a, that's a great number to have. So this guy here, he's always got some good stuff in it. Like everything on this table is a dollar. And this table over, uh, two tables over, everything is five bucks a piece. So uh, a lot of dealers are doing that now. You can see like that's a pretty neat looking can right there, that red one. And I know you can hear the wind, it's starting to get back up again. We had 40 mile per hour wind gust earlier today. Man, it was rough up here. Pretty neat stuff back there. Got some old uh, little red wagons, TG and Y Flyer. How about that? All right, well, we're gonna get back to walking. Just wanted to show y'all a little bit while we were out here, but uh, I can tell the wind's gonna start getting up and I know it makes the video sound pretty horrible. So I'm gonna stop this little portion here. that last little clip I showed you uh, I don't know if you recognized it from the earlier clip but that was outside of the uh, rap concert the rap concert got cut short because uh, people got to acting a fool over there and they was climbing up on the stage and the night before they said people was climbing over fences and all kind of stuff so uh, evidently it got pretty rowdy over there so anyway it got shut down early so uh, we actually ended up sleeping okay. We couldn't hear it too bad over there. So, uh, man, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I've been dreading it all week long. Soon as I heard we had rap concerts going on for two nights straight, I thought, man, this is going to be rough. So, uh, anyway, uh, earlier in the video also, I talked about um, having problems with the doors on my van. So when I got there, I struggled with getting all the stuff out of my van. And uh, the biggest struggle is I have five foot swings inside the van and the side doors are only about four foot wide. So I had to, uh, I had to do a lot of wrestling to get those swings to come out of those side doors, uh, even though I packed the van so that everything could come out the back. Now, with that being said, when I got ready to pack up and leave, I had started packing from the back of the van and was working my way towards the front of the van. I had all the doors open. I had them all open because the van was empty. I was able to walk and crawl all around inside the van and open any door I wanted to. Well, I got a lot of stuff in the van and somebody was gonna move a vehicle around my van and they didn't wanna hit the doors. So they did me a favor by shutting the doors on the back of the van. Well, when they shut those doors, I was not done putting stuff back there. 
So I went to them and I said, man, did you shut these doors? And they said, yeah. And I said, I wish you wouldn't have done that. I can't open them. I don't have any way to open the door. So, uh, man, it, it took me another probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour longer of getting all my stuff loaded up simply because the all my doors on the darn van, I can't get them to open. So I'll have to be doing some work on the van this week and get that straightened out. But uh, we had a fairly decent sale uh, in Nashville. It wasn't the greatest, but uh, we did make a little bit of money, and we'll be headed there again in another month. So... I got some more RV related videos. I know there's a lot of you out there that want some RV stuff. So I'll be getting you some of that this week and uh, get that out pretty soon. So folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me and little Muppy. Man, we hope to see y'all real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.